Hello, I'm Vinny from Signal Typewriter team. In this section, we will introduce how to collect packets by using Packet Trace feature on iOS XE routers. Packet Trace is an analysis feature introduced in iOS XE 3.10. It's available on platforms such as ASR1K, ISR4K, ISR1K, CAT 8K, and CSR 8K V which are running on iOS XE. By using the packet trace functionality, you can track the flow of transfer processing in the QFP. In this section, we will introduce the steps to enable packet trace. Please use it for cause investigation in situations, such as when requested by type engineers or when unexpected packet jobs occur. Please note that Packet trace is a feature that tracks the flow of transfer processing in the QFP. It can be used on platforms where commands like show platform hardware QFP can be executed. Also, be mindful of the memory usage when using QFP as it operates using QFP memory. There are several optional settings. But for this demo introduction, I will explain only the essential settings that are commonly used to capture packets. We will configure these commands one by one when doing demo tests later. This is the demo test topology. There are three routers. OSPF are configured on R1, R2, and R3, allowing them to communicate with each other. We will configure packet trees on Gigabit Ethernet 1 for both in and out direction to see what kind of packets we can capture out. So now, let's start to do the configuration on R2. Let's do the packet trees configuration for check the ingress and egress packets through Gigabit Ethernet 1 interface. We will execute the commands one by one. First, Specify the number of packets and get detailed information of these packets by debug, platform, packet trees, packet 8192, field trees. Then, we specify the interface and direction for performing packet trees by command debug, platform, condition, interface, gigabit Ethernet 1 both. Next, we specify the size of the packet by command debug, platform, packet trees, copy packet both, size 2048. By adding this command, it will also retrieve the hex value of the packet. You will also be able to check the statistics information by command debug, platform, packet trees, statistics. After this command is configured, Let's start the packet trees. Now, we ping from R1 to R3 to make packets popping through the interface. Let's stop the packet trees. We can execute show platform packet tree summary to check the overall summary information of the retrieved packets. And we can also specify one packet to check the detailed information included in the packet. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video.